surprise for you? Yes. Let me, let me, let me get this. I hope you hear it. I, I, I know already. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a, it, it would, 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 let, let's listen to this one while we drive. I have a funny story to tell you. About this trip? Mm hmm Yeah? Am I am I am I ruining his plans? No? No, no, no. no. Uh, 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 there you go. Oh, everything is fully automatic here. It's a really nice car. It is a great car and a good sound system as well. Yeah. Really nice to listen to this lady. Let's listen to this. <laughs> Are you proud? Yeah, I am. Yeah? I am. I I love this track. Me too? I love this track. It's so old school but so powerful at the same time. Yeah, it is. It's so Yeah, but but it has a has a, a funny vocal on it as well, you know. It, yeah, it, 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 I want you now. Yeah. And the reason the name of the track is yeah. not I want you now, but an apologetic. Yeah. It's because I want you now is a really basic name for this, like automatic saying, oh, the track will go and be yeah. I want you now. But I think then if you say to someone, yeah. I want yeah. you. Rings off now. No. Okay. okay. Stupid thing. Do you know how to do that? I see. Yeah. Oh, you're so great. Um, <laughs> oh my god. I was thinking you, so I did not want to call the track I want yeah. you now because it was really like the, the first name comes yeah. up. But if you say it, I want you now, you are totally unapologetic. Mm -hmm. So you have no shame to say what you really want in life. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, I'm with, uh, 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 by the way, uh, this is Rocky, Rocky <laughs> Valente, and, uh, and, and, and she was here for the uh, Amsterdam Dance Event, and now the last day of the Amsterdam Dance Event, I'm knackered, I'm tired, the last thing I do is bring her to the airport, and then I'm <laughs> finished, but I wanted to talk to her uh, for a long time, because I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of hers, so this is the icing on the cake. Thank you, Mick. Yeah? And, uh, Tell me, tell, tell me, did, did, did you see the movie Apocalypse Now? Um, I'm not for, sure. For Francis Ford Coppola. It is about Vietnam. Yeah. I make a strange comparison. <laughs> no, it's, where are you going? <laughs> where, 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 where is he going now? They're on it's a from the 70s, right? It's, it's a movie from, from the 70s. From Francis Ford Coppola, Coppola, which is one of the, the great uh, directors. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, it, it's about Vietnam. And mm -hmm. the guys on the boat, mm -hmm. uh, uh, soldiers, going into the jungle. And the more they get into the jungle, the stranger it becomes. And okay. you, you know, <laughs> years ago, years ago, you started as a fresh, fresh, <laughs> fresh young DJ. Yeah. And look where you are now. It, it's, it's, you're totally underground. Yeah. Uh, the pictures, the photos, the, 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 the music, you changed. I changed huh? and I found that um, today I was recording something. Um, I was speaking about that. Yeah. And I, 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 I have my share part of uh, um, heavy moments in my life, difficult moments in my life. Yeah. But um, I, when I was a teenager, um, I, I always tell the story that my mom died very early in my life. Yeah. And on the beginning of my life, I used that input to write what for me is beautiful mm. poetry. And then um, I, I was in a more commercial side and then in the moments when I, when I became yeah. pregnant of my youngest daughter, yes. what did happen was I was in bed rest and unable to, 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 to be able to go out and for a person who is using, used, yeah. used to tour and to be out was really heartbreaking for me. I believed during a lot of time that I will never be able to, to, to be successful anymore. Yeah. And then that pain became that brought me what what I think is good music, what I yeah. thought is techno, and techno for me is darkness, and it's a darkness to bring you to life. It's yeah. it's 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 a a, a, um, a raw, 
beautiness. Oh, 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 wrong, the... Oh, the wrong direction, I guess. <laughs> but now it's getting interesting. Keep, keep it there because I wanted to yeah. say something about it. So the darkness brings light, huh? The darkness brings light. Which is true because without darkness, there is no light. Exactly. Exactly. Huh? I, I, I feel so much free as an artist, yeah. so much pure and so much... Uh, um, you don't need to please everyone, yeah. but the people that you please with this kind of music is people really love it yeah. and they stay with you. Yeah. And I think that is the main thing. Now let's go back to this track because <laughs> you, <laughs> you made this track for, uh, for a great label. Yeah. For, of two very very good DJs producers picking them. I was a huge fan. I yeah. am a huge fan of them. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I saw them two years ago at uh, Welcome to the Future. It was mm -hmm. one of the best sets I saw. Uh -huh. So they're really good, and they, they have a connection with John Dickey and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, how did how did this this how how did how did this come how did along? it happen? Yeah. Um, it's really uh, funny. I'm going to tell you the connection. Yeah. So, um, you know, I believe that certain things in life mm -hmm. um, happen because they need to happen. Mm -hmm. It's not like some, some things will happen. Yeah. And um, in the same week, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Pig and Dan. Yeah. Uh, I played a lot of their tracks. Mm -hmm. I feel they have a consistent, the way they produce is, is, is what I want to be one day. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and, uh, and I and so I, I was booked for doing Dance Valley, yeah. uh, and they were in the same stage than me in that week. In the same week, I was preparing um, a deal for a, for syndicating a radio show, and I was mm -hmm. working on that. And Nick from Distorted connecting connecting with David mm. for circulated then do uh, campaigns on uh, social media for yeah. uh, techno music and other artists. And it's funny because David uh, is manager of Pig and Dan. Right. And so talking, I, I said, he asked me, oh, can you send me some production, some yeah. music? So I sent him my music and we start a conversation and wow. then they listen to the tracks and we decide together to work on this project. So yeah. co coincidences don't, don't exist. No, actually. they don't. It, they it, don't. It, it had to happen. Probably. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. I'm really happy for you. And I saw the sleeve. When, yeah. when, when will it be a beautiful sleeve? When will it be out? When, when will it... Uh, 22 November. Right. I elevate the, right. the label yeah. of Pig and Dan. Yeah. And uh, we are going to have a very special edition in vinyl as well. Mm. Two vinyls. Uh, mm. Uh, with two different colors, we did not went black. We mm. went pinkish, and yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, and it's a way for me to go back to vinyl as well and yeah. we'll do some sets. Yeah. And I, I'm, I, yeah, you see, it's like having a baby, electronic baby. Yeah, electronic baby. <laughs> now let's talk about babies because you have a a, 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 a small family. A small. <laughs> huh? I have a small family. Yeah. I, I have a small yeah. Family. Yeah. They start to grow up and go out of home. But oh so my God. <laughs> How many oh my God! Together, me and Paul, we have six. So yes. I have uh, five from my belly, one from my heart. All right. That's 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 mm. beautiful. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, I was mom very early, so yeah. um, my oldest kid have 19. He's not at home anymore, yeah. and uh, one is studying out. Uh, is studying in a in a different country, so I have four at home, which is a lot. Yeah. Um, different <laughs> ages, just one girl. So. Yeah. I, I'm wondering, you know, I have I've, I've one daughter. Mm -hmm. and, very beautiful uh, and, one. It's a beautiful one, and and, and and I love her very much. But but sometimes when she comes along on, on the weekend, it's when she's gone. You know, I I, I, I really loved it what, what she was doing. <laughs> but I'm I'm knackered. I'm really tired. How can you combine being a mom, going on the road, DJ, produce, uh, uh, being away very often? That's that must be hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But point one, yeah. I never point. I never put the option to not do it. So if right. you don't set up yourself for failing, you are. But it's hard, and you have moments. You have it's like seasons. You have moments they had a lot of my attention. You have other moments in my career have mm -hmm. more my attention. And I sleep six hours a day. I mm -hmm. work out. I don't drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. I don't do other things. So I don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. um, I try to uh, sleep. Uh, uh, do meditation and try to organize myself and using mm -hmm. my time in the best way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, um, 
I, when you do what you love, whatever is having kids or music, True. it gives you energy. Yeah? You never like. I don't complain. Tomorrow is a yeah. Monday morning at seven a.m. Yeah. I'm awake uh, even before. I'm not going to say. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> no. Yeah, I understand. My by, by the way, Paul is sitting in the back. Yeah, it is. Is impossible because there, there are two people in the back. They're not just hitchhikers. So it, it, it took along with us. It's, there's a camera lady in the back. Hi, Nella. Nella, and, and I saw her at, uh, filming at at, at uh, John Dickey's party mm -hmm. last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Paul, I know for for a while. Mm -hmm. He's your uh, he's your he's, <laughs> he's the love of your life. He's yeah. your uh, uh, your husband. He's, yeah. he is the butler. No, it's not. He's it the, the manager. Right now. Paul, let's be honest. Paul is the man, is the reason why Hockey Valente exists in this moment All and right. he's doing what he's doing. Okay. Because many times I did want to give up. It was, it was too much pressure on me, especially yeah. after Maxime. And it was him who believed in me and made me. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I know it. I know he feels better at the moment because he doesn't like attention. No, and he doesn't like it's to fly it either. No, to fly either. So no, it's a terrible it's combination. A, it's a terrible combination. <laughs> he, oh, you, I mean, Paul, you have to fly now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot. I forgot all about it. Yeah, yeah, and I need to hold his hand. But it's just there. It's just it's really cute. Are you are you wearing a diaper? Uh, no, uh, you don't need. <laughs> to be honest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's much better. In the beginning, on the beginning when we met yeah. each other, you really, I remember I was touring from Russia to Egypt and in it was Egypt. Yeah. When I coming back from Egypt, like we, it was terrible, terrible. It was really, even for me, it was scary. So, uh, but now he's, he's, he's much braver on the planes. Cool. Will there, I was wondering, will there be a uh, are you planning to release an album? Yes, I think in a, we are working in something extra. Yeah. Um, then we are going to have some remixes from uh, big names, mm. and 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 as well uh, we are shooting all these moments on the next two years to put together and tell the story of to inspire women in special. You okay. know, I think. Look, um, I believe their moms have dreams too. Yeah. And and that is my my thing now is to try to make women taking point one women taking some time for themselves cool. because in special in a culture like Portugal where the kids are the center mm -hmm. of everything yeah. moms many times they give so much that they forget themselves and it's like a phone yeah. you you cannot just use the phone you need to charge as well yeah. and I like to speak about that because if 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 parents take time for themselves for mm -hmm. dating going to alone to be alone to have silence because I get too fed up of my kids as well sometimes and I like it's, I'm not uh, it's yeah. a different uh, a different person uh, the other thing is you know there, there there's a, a you know the, the DJ world and the dance world is a men orientated world there there are more much more uh, 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 men, uh, men, men DJs mm -hmm. than, uh, and female DJs mm -hmm. So, uh, how is it to be a woman in, 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 in the world you're living in? I think you have two moments. Yeah. My, my beginning was really uh, hard, in special, because I was living uh, in Portugal and uh, it's a much more male-oriented uh, environment and they did not like women having their own space. So, Portugal uh, did make my, my picking very small for me. I had bigger dreams. So I had a lot of funny stories like people changing all the, the cables behind uh, yeah. five minutes before I start to play because I know how to set up my material. Uh, all kind of stories. Now I think like look at the techno scene. Like yeah. you have so many women like grabbing the world of electronic dance music and I don't like to say oh it was so difficult, it's so difficult. It is but we are badass people. We, we women are strong since well, little well, ones. Well, much stronger than much that, stronger. Yeah. Much because of that then I don't agree with the expression you are being a pussy. My friend, if you are being a pussy you are really strong. Men are pussies. When I have to flu no, the opposite. Yeah. When, I have to, when I have to flu for instance. You are scared as well? 
Hmm? Oh my God! So we do, we all travel together. I go hold your guys' hands. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not afraid of flying. But when I feel sick, you know, the flu. Oh, or, the, or flu. Cold, oh. the flu. Oh. No, no, fly. <laughs> no the flu. flu. Okay. Then, then I'm in bed and like, oh, I'm sick. You know. And, and, I know. and women work well, well after flu. So. I'm I'm sick today. Yeah. I have feel full full of it. You know, it's like someone need to do it. Yeah. But I feel like like even girls when they are little, like Max, my, Max is my daughter, mm -hmm. and she's four years old, and she have all these big brothers with 19, 17, and you know, and she rule all that. Yeah. yeah you know, you have a girl. God give you a girl. <laughs> God, universe, whatever. They brought you a girl, a girl but I think yeah, it must couple, be a... A couple of days ago, she sent me a, an, an app saying, Papa, today at my first period. <gasps> God. Ah. I, I I felt I, it 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 it. it I, How did you feel? Like a mix of feelings. Yeah, I became sentimental because you know years ago I didn't have a good contact Realize. with her, mm -hmm. and now she's sharing this with me. That means that I changed. You know, mm -hmm. our our relationship has changed, mm -hmm. definitely. And you know, to tell me that, and then she said, but I I feel. I said, how how are you? Do you feel okay? Well, I hope this is the last time. And I said to her, <laughs> oh, honey, it, 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 for the next 40 years. <laughs> oh, I'm but so it, sorry to tell you what to do for you. And then she said to me, but I'm really lucky that I didn't have my period when I was with you. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Mother, so. mother is always good to, to be around if, if something happens like that. Huh? Yeah, I was alone. I had no mom anymore, but I yeah. remember I could manage her well. But it's, it's funny because... Yeah, you hope that it's just one, yeah. one time, yeah. and it's not. It's, it's not. going to be a lot. Over the last couple of days, I had some DJs in my car, like you. And uh, uh, the conclusion is, the DJs are a strange breed of people. <laughs> they, they're different. Huh? You agree yeah. with that? I yeah. 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 I'm more. I'm a different, different. But Di yeah. different, different. But yeah. you're different. From, but but I mean. Very, uh, 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 how can I how can I explain this? Very emotional people. Very uh, uh, even in, even when they're introverted, mm -hmm. they, they you can feel that a lot of a lot of it is going around in their heads. You know. You need to have um, big balls to be in front of a crowd. Yeah. Because what what when you are DJing, not producing, then people mix everything. When you are not playing live, so you are DJing, you are grabbing, it's like patchwork. You grab art of other ones and you do your own art. Mm -hmm. And for me, what's something that is really important, people are losing sometimes and you see the differences. When you are a DJ, whatever is your place in the, the line, uh, you need to be a DJ, you need to reach your crowd, you need to be there for them. You cannot be a, a superstar. You are a person who brings music and serve for them, for them to create emotions. And then if they remember you, great. I'm a very different artist because even if I play more underground music, I'm a Latina, I will be there all over the place. I shout, I scream, I have fun, I dance, mm. and that is me. Um, other DJs, they, they, they don't feel so comfortable doing this, but they are badass people there serving mm. their music. Exactly. Well, because you, you've been at the party with John Digby, yeah. you see John Digby perform mm -hmm. while, he, while he's playing. He looks like a technician <laughs> who doesn't have any contact with the audience, which is not true because he he, he senses, yeah, he senses them, you. you know. Yeah. But but everybody has his own style. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, yeah I loved it. I love to look to him because I know what he's doing. Uh -huh. So. But even if you don't know, like he's John Digby, he's like yeah, the legend. True, true. I think I made the wrong uh, exit. <laughs> but that, it is typically, uh, uh, until now everything went smooth <laughs> and now I'm fucked. No, you're in the car rental. I'm in the car rental. So maybe I.